Thank you for noticing my video. I'm Mike Steger. I'm a copyright and trademark attorney. And today I'm going to talk about notice in the copyright world. What is notice? Well, the definition of notice is the fact of observing or paying attention to something, notification or warning of something, or to become aware of. And in the copyright world, copyright notice is usually the C with the circle on it. I can't really do a good hand gesture for that. Um, with the name usually the author or the owner, and sometimes a year on that. So you've probably seen a copyright notice uh, on TV credits, film credits. Uh, back in the day when you actually bought music, you bought a CD or an album, might be on there, inside a book. Uh, so a couple questions. First, do you have to have a copyright notice on something to have copyright protection in that work? The answer is no. The, that law was changed in 1989, you still have your copyright ownership in your creative work, even if you don't have a copyright notice on it. However, is it a good idea to put a copyright notice on a copyrighted work? Yes, for two reasons. First, it puts people on notice that you are claiming a copyright interest in that work. Second, it eliminates what is called the innocent infringer uh, defense. When somebody infringes your copyright, they will say, oh, well, we didn't know it was copyrighted because it didn't have a copyright notice on it. That's not actually a defense to copyright infringement, but it can be a factor in evaluating damages. But if you have a copyright notice on there, that excuse goes away. Finally, something else that's important about copyright notice. If you are using a copyrighted work, you may not remove the copyright notice from the copy of the work that you're using. Say you license a photograph to use on your website. And I'm talking about licensing, not just stealing it from, from somebody else's website. If you take that and you put it on your website, unless the contract says you can remove copyright notice, you may not remove any of the information that is known as content management information, which includes the name of the author, uh, possibly the year or the copyright notice. Any, anything that identifies the author or the owner of the copyrighted work, if you remove that, you are subject to separate penalties uh, under the Copyright Act. So I'm Mike Steger. Thank you for noticing this video. I'm a copyright and trademark attorney. And in my next video, you're going to notice that there's something different uh, about the video.